Welcome back to Ed Hunts. So today I've got a little bit of a pickups video for you and a little bit of a channel recommendation video for you. So I went out charity shop uh, shopping earlier on and um, went around town. Wasn't really doing like a you know a massively conscious hunt. I thought I'd just go around because I was, I was getting a few like house objects and pieces, and I actually managed to find some sealed games like in charity shops. Couldn't believe it. Not really this generation either. I want to show you one photo now because I didn't really I didn't get any footage from when I was hunting. I just got kind of one photo from um, of one of the sealed games that I got while I was in the charity shop. So I'll show you that now. So as you can see, that was a uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, and as you can see, that the, the um, price on it was one ninety nine, and I have it right here. So that's SpongeBob SquarePants the movie on PS Two, sealed, and only as you can see, one ninety nine. Now, how often do you see sealed games at charity shop? Like you see sealed DVDs like all the time. I'm always seeing sealed DVDs. Like people just get them. They don't open them, whatever. But sealed DVDs aren't really worth anything. But sealed games, on the other hand, are worth a pretty penny. Now, according to price charting, this is worth £25 sealed. And obviously, with sealed games, are only going to go up in price. And I'm actually considering getting this graded. Now, I know I've said in pre previously, um, I'm not a really big grader when it comes to um, grading games or grading comics. But... This is a game that I'm probably not gonna play, and if I do play it, I could probably find it like secondhand at the car boot fair or something. So this is a possibility of a game that might, might get graded. So that's my shop the movie. So the second game is, I found it on the floor in a charity shop. So so bizarre, I went into a charity shop, I didn't really, uh, I've been to a charity, charity shop plenty of times before, didn't really expect much. And I was looking around and I looked on the floor underneath one of like the shelving units and this game was just sitting there and it was sealed couldn't believe it and that game is uncharted 3. now as you can see it does have the charity shop sticker at the back still it was one pound fifty um and yeah i couldn't believe it i mean i picked it up tried to open it just to see if it was in there and it was sealed again couldn't believe it uncharted 3 great deception now i'm not a big uh, uncharted fan a lot of people have told me to play this because apparently it is one of the best uh, series of games out there do you know a lot of people say uncharted 3 why haven't you played uncharted series why haven't you played it yet something i might get myself into because it does look uh it looks awesome i mean it's very open world it looks like the kind of game that i would like um so maybe one day i'll get into it but again this is a game that could get graded one day because it's very cheap you can buy it out and about um at cex for like 50p or a pound um and you don't see this often sealed. I mean, PlayStation 3 is now a bygone era. You know, it's two, it, that's two console generations back. So, I mean, to get a PS2 and a PS3 game sealed for a collective £3.50, I was very, very happy with that. Now, I couldn't not pass by CEX also. So, I did pick up a Mega Drive game, and that is Dragon's Fury. Now, looking at this, first of all, you thinking, ah, maybe this is like a kind of a Golden Axe kind of game, like, uh, it's complete, it's got the game in there, it's got the money, it's actually in very nice condition as well. Um, and then I looked at the back and I realised that it's a pinball game. Now I have nothing against pinball games, pinball games can be fun, but I didn't think this, this was a pinball game. Um, so I'm a little bit wounded by that. Uh, this was £8, I didn't pay for it with vouchers, I paid for it with cash. Um, and yeah, I was a little bit dumbfounded when I saw it. However, this does sell for quite good money on eBay. This goes up to uh, 17 50 to 25 I've seen it go for on eBay sold listings. So actually quite good. Like I'm quite, I was quite happy to get that for eight pounds. So yeah, Dragon's Fury on the Mega Drive. So the last pickup from this little charity shop jaunt was a comic and that is Deceased Dead Planet. Now, this is obviously on the DC series. It was in a box of um, other comics and there was tons of comics in there honestly um, there was like mostly I think it was the Punisher uh, so I dug and dug and I found this one at the bottom and it looked quite cool uh, obviously it was $4.99 on release as you can see in the bottom left hand corner um, I don't know too much about this particular line of DC comics obviously you can see Superman, uh, Batman, 
on the front um, and I guess it's kind of like a post-apocalyptic kind of world that it's set in. But only for a pound, as you can see in this corner there. Very happy to get that and it's in very nice condition. It literally looks brand new. So now I'm going to recommend you guys five YouTube channels that I've been watching recently and I feel as if you guys could uh, enjoy as well. So the first channel that I would like to recommend to you guys today is Arcade Gear. So Arcade Gear is run by a couple of buddies of mine, um, Ash and Ian. And what they essentially do, they play and review um, all arcade games, like kind of from the start, and they started like with Yar Kung Fu. I think it was kind of starting with fighting games, and then they kind of moved on to like kind of like Outrun and um, kind of more kind of popular arcade games. And they sit there, they play it for about an hour and a half, and they discuss all kind of elements of the game. They're very well knowledgeable. I think they've got about 30 or 40 episodes out now, so like really good channel really highly recommend i'm going to put their link below really highly recommend you go and watch arcade gear if you're into arcade games and that kind of thing uh so the second channel that i would like to recommend today are game boys are awesome so game boys are awesome kieran um he's been around in the scene for a long long time now he's been doing uh, car boot fairs he's been doing hunts he's been doing pickup videos for a long time him and his mate uh, kev uh, i kind of want to recommend kev as well uh while I'm recommending Game Boys are awesome because their, their channels kind of overlap. So that's Kevin Wolford123 and Game Boys are awesome. Two absolutely amazing channels for car booting. Uh, they found some awesome stuff over the years. Because they've been going for such a long time, they would have uh, been finding stuff before a lot of like people like me were going to the boot fairs and you know getting all their stuff. So um, but yeah, really highly recommend Game Boys are awesome and Kevin Wolford123. Third channel I would like to recommend is Scott's Retro Collectibles. So Scott's Retro Collectibles, uh, you might have seen uh, Scott kind of appear in some of my videos while I'm at the boot fair. You've probably seen me appear in some of his video videos. And I know he has kind of discussed my uh, my channel a little bit on his channel. Uh, big up for that, Scott. Uh, he was formerly Scott's Comics and Collectibles, but he has kind of changed his name to kind of um, go with what he actually does. I mean, like he does pick up comics, obviously, and he gets a lot of like pop culture items, but he does get a lot of games as well. So that's why I think he's kind of gone to the Scott's Retro Collectibles kind of way. But yeah, awesome channel. Uh, he's, he's uploading like a lot. He uploads like once or twice a week. He does really long videos. He, you know, gets proper in depth. He knows what he's talking about. He knows his stuff. So yeah, Scott's Retro Collectibles. So I think it was at three now. So my fourth recommendation is going to be The Little Reseller. Maggie. Now she's a new YouTuber. I've only just started, she's only just started uploading at the start of this year. Uh, but yeah, she's highly knowledgeable about reselling. She's only been reselling for about two years as well. So like fair play to her. Um, she's got a very nice presentation style. Um, again, she's only got like three or four videos. So, so obviously um, she hasn't got too much content out there, but I've, I've already learned a few things from watching her videos because there's a lot of other resellers that I just can't plainly watch. You know, I just get really kind of they, they drag their videos out, they they talk about a lot of nonsense. Like, but what I liked about uh, the little reseller Maggie is that she didn't really waffle too much. She just got straight into it, showed you what she bought, showed you what she how much she paid for it, and how much how, how much she could potentially get for it. Really, really cool. And the last uh, channel I would like to recommend is Sega Lord X. Now. If you're a Sega fan, if you're a Mega Drive fan, if you're a Saturn fan, you must, must watch Sega Lord X. X. This guy is so knowledgeable about Sega. He's so knowledgeable about everything Sega. He knows about all the games, about all the arcade releases, all of the rare releases. And he's so, so passionate about Sega. I have not seen anyone online as passionate about him, uh, about Sega as him. Uh, he is over in America. He's been there since the start. He's been there since like, you know the um what's it called uh the master system day master system days and like the sega mg days and stuff just back in the day and he just he knows everything about it like i love watching his channel one of my favorite youtubers definitely so those are my five recommended channels i'm going to leave you links for all of their channels below make sure you go over there and show them some love show put a like and subscribe down on their channels and um yeah tell them i sent you so that's it um so i'm just waiting for the boot fest to come back you know like it's gonna be a good five or six weeks before they come back so i'm gonna try and fill up some time go on some more hunts 
go here, there, and everywhere, and see what we can find. So, if you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing, and see you in the next one.